Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, you've got some fluff on your nostril, Mr. Boscots. Mr. Boscots. And my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling. <laughs> what a series this has been so far, my lovelies. It's literally been like, what, three episodes, I think? This, today's the third episode. The third episode of the most unhinged thing we've ever seen on the Chanel ever. Bitch! Well, perhaps not. Or perhaps yes. Answer in the comments below. <laughs> I appear to be serving 90s beachwear model today, don't I, Biscuit? Gosh, was your great, great, great grandparents alive in the 90s, Biscuit? How old are you? Seven months. What would that have been? 30 years ago. How many dogs is that? Five generations, perhaps? Goodness me. We really are elves to dogs, aren't we? We live thousands and thousands and thousands of their years and do not grow old until we are towards the end. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. What did we see in the last episode? We saw a little bit of everything wrong with the modeling industry. We saw a little bit of everything wrong with the concept of production exploitation girls. Didn't they, Biscuit? They were exploited. Would you like your little biscuit feet exploited online? Should we put them on wiki biscuit feet? Should we put them on there? I'm not gonna kiss you, you're gonna get covered in lipstick. So my lovely, should we get one of the top comments from the last episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling? <laughs> Which is by Love Ya Always. And they say, Janice is so misogynistic, but also somehow misandric at the same time. She's completely bonkers. And I completely agree. In the last episode, I kind of felt like I might have gone a little bit harsh on Janice, but from what I was seeing throughout the entire episode left me really shocked. If you want to go back and watch that for a little bit of a taster of just what this series contains, then I would suggest doing that. It's been about uh, six weeks since I filmed one of these. Are you having fun? What are you doing? Where are you going? And you know what? Every time I make one, I'm like, I just don't know what we're going to see. What are we going to see? What's she doing now? What's Janice going to do now? <laughs> And every single time I am fully flabbergasted by the outcome of the scenario of the situation of Janice Dickinson. Every time. So my lovelies, make sure you grab yourself a biscuit. I today am on the Monster Energy Ultra Rosa. It's nice and cold, isn't it, biscuit? Yes, you do have nice fresh water outside, but you're like, no, this one, I like this one, please. Make sure you pop in your Janice Dickinson modeling ohanger. And today, make sure you're feeling really per se for Janice Dickinson's modeling per se. Oh, thank you, biscuit. And with that, let's go on with it, my loves. What is it, episode four? I think I said episode three earlier. It's episode four. Four. Tonight on the Janice Dickinson oh, Modeling the Agency. the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. Do your thing in that hateful lilac tulle woman. Right, come on then, pose by your billboard. Don't forget, she's a model and she's on the game. Am I looking a bit Janice Dickinson today? I should bloody well hope not. Right, do your own thing because nobody knows what it is that you do, Janice. Right, here we are Let's on the corner of woman and gout. The newbies are like, let, let, let them look oh, at how fat why is this so pixelations? What's happened to Janice? She's dead. Look at how fat the older models are. Last week, mm. I held an open casting call. None of the people on your show, Janice, could ever be considered, by your definition, fat. All of these aspiring young models are literally in some of the best shape I've ever seen anyone in ever. And you're like, fatties, get out. Like, just awful. As a person who has struggled with their weight, I do feel like it's like rambunctious of this woman to decide. Like, I would still consider myself now overweight. According to BMI, I know it's not perfect. And according to Body Fat Index, I know that's also not perfect as well. I am technically overweight. And to hear Janice be like, fat to these tiny, tiny women is like soul enraging. And just for context in my actual weight loss journey, this is a photo of me on the first day that I met Roly face to face in 2018. This was my body just before I went for facial feminization surgery in May 2022. Since this point, I have regained some weight and I am once again on a fitness journey to get my body to a place that I am comfortable and happy with. Anyway, many a minute in. Janice. And I found what could be the best All right, she had another in open call, didn't she, from the last Pong. seven. You are the chosen. So today I'm introducing the old models So to today the, new models. the oldies meet so the newies. What is she wearing here? That is an evening chiffon if ever I've seen one. Daytime tweet with an evening chiffon. I am so excited about my new girls. I my new girl. You guys around in drag world, that means a new wig. There's a bunch of new girls that are going to be with the new agency. Wig. You ain't Everyone gets a new, new wig. I don't even know if you're with the agency. Tracy. You came for one job, and I don't know if you're here yet. You still have to prove to me that, like, you're going to fit in. I like you, so we'll see. Did she always have such a heavy fringe? That is quite a fringe, isn't it? It's very Jesse J in the early... I don't even know. When's Jesse J from? <laughs> Money. The newer 
our girls already can walk. They're thinner. They're just camera ready. Sorry, guys. They're just ready to rock it. The new girls will... That was the correct response from Niabelle. Like, what are you meant to say? So people are like, they're skinnier than you. They can work better, so you better get... Uh. Like, what was the point? What was the point in saying that to them? This isn't a competition show. But she's framing it as like, you're just all... And I'm the woman on the game. Oh, look, a different outfit. Definitely take away the opportunities from some of the older models because the newer girls are simply better. You know, don't get too jealous, but I'm telling you, they're ready for Vogue already. And that's what I was expecting five months ago from you guys. So let's go check it out. And hopefully these girls can add to your game. I'm assuming that knowing... How vile and nasty do you have to be? Imagine if your manager came into your work and was like, well, you're all actually... Five months ago, you were, I thought you were gonna be great, but now you're sh Now I've got new, young, fresh talent in the sh girls. Uh. Awful. Janice, we're gonna be compared against the new models. That's I incorrect. Don't know, probably some sort of way That's also and not a good business move. Or maybe we're just gonna all sit out and lounge. In order for me to break oh the God, ice. What's this look? What is she, why has she looked eight different looks in the first three minutes? Okay, this is not it. I do not enjoy this bright white highlight under the brow bone, but it was very in at the time. For my old models coming in to meet my new oh, models, pixelation. I decided to bring them in and offer them some massages and a spray tan. I thought she was gonna say some misogyny, <laughs> which is exactly what she's doing. Come on in. Welcome, new girls, here. New girls, new girls, new girls, new girls, new girls. I got Kate. Wait, wave, wave to everybody. This is Kate. Wave, Kate. Kate can model better than I can. I really, I really say that about any model. Right, we have Dr. Jordan, died. the blonde. She's a real doctor. We're gonna call her Dr. Lee. And then there's Jordan. And, and then, then there's, there's Lisa Gareth. R. Hello, Lisa R. Okay, so she's gonna give our little redhead a run for the money. And we have Leisure Arc. Say hello. Hello? I could definitely feel all the other girls looking at me, but that's natural. It's a competition and they should. It's not a competition. This is not a reality TV really competition show. Keep what I have and to also to get better. La Kiska Finger. Why don't you do me a. Interesting. That was an overlaid sentence. Did you hear that? La Kiska Finger. Literally just spoken into an iPhone at home in her own kitchen. Although iPhones weren't around at this time, so I don't even know. Just brought into the studio to re-say that. La Kiska Finger, girls. What an interesting name. Why don't you do me a favor? La Walk finger. around for about three minutes. This girl Sounds is the best different. walker in the world at the moment. I'm not even gonna say Debatable. that. And look at her waistline. Hello. The old models should be threatened by the new models because it'll sharpen up their game. It'll keep them on point if they're not on point. Eat your hearts out. I'm sorry. How'd you learn how to walk, Miss Thing? By uh, watching other runway models and videotapes on him. Oh, excuse me, and videotapes. Who would have thought that she actually did some homework on her own? I know I sound harsh. Let me tell you something, honey. Yes. This industry is very, very harsh. It's harsh because of people like you, Janice. At this point, she's just using insults under the guise of like harsh critique. I'm just being honest, but also the biggest bitch you've ever met. Have you ever met those people that are like, I'm not evil, I'm just being honest. And they're always the most vile, vulgar person you've ever met. Is that tea? It's funny, isn't it? Those people never have anything nice to say, yet they're always saying they're gonna be honest. So every Everything in their lives is just miserable all day, every day. Oh, fault girls! It's very critical, and Look at these everybody's models. watching. No wonder why they're like. Tough love, so be it. She's Pierce, being Stina. Fine. Let's see you get up, walk back and forth. One. Is this a competition? Is it like new girls no. against the old girls? No, baby. Okay. No. Janice is always on my case about one thing or another, but calling us out in front of the new girls was just cold blooded. This yes. is life, and from with that attitude, you can sit right down. Competition. Fierceness and just being ready all the time. This is what this industry is all about. Because if I'm not screaming, you're gonna hear it from some photographer going, What do you think you look like with this sweater? Take it off. Take off this sweater, you with the red hair. Stand up, darling, and show us your figure. Go on, take it off. Come on, darling. Suck in the tum tum. Okay, let's see a let's see a walk anyway. I've seen you for three fashion shows now, consistently making the same mistake. I'm not gonna say it anymore. What did you think during the Ellen Del Rosario show? Oh, beat, wake up, gay, time to speak. You just stand up, like you come out, and you immediately look, look down at the runway. Why do you think she's and doing that? It's because you have that, it's all, everyone's in front of you, there's all these cameras. The press, the, the world press, is looking world, at you. And you have a moment of fear, and it makes you look down at the ground to find that comfort zone. You've got it. You just gotta keep walking straight ahead and just know where the end Let of the runway is. 
Thank you, Dr. Makeup Artist. I can't wait to die. I already had one client furious about Crystal's performance on the runway, and it has become a real concern. Crystal cannot do one more job until she fixes this particular problem. Do you know that you're doing it? Now that you say it, like, yeah, I, I picture it. I really don't like being put this in the spot like that. How To be like, she didn't tell anyone else to get completely naked, and now she's literally, like, screaming at a girl in her underwear in front of loads of new people they've never met and a TV studio and film crew berating her saying the last time you walked a runway you were terrible and we got terrible feedback about you. I would have broken down at that moment and been like, do you know what? F*** you, Janice. I hope you choke on your stupid little career. Die. I felt that too. Skinny girls in the room. Not the most comforting thing. Thank you. Sit down. You so are Katie, also a skinny girl. For a second? Everybody Despite say hi what to the Janice next Kate says. Moss. I'm going to put Kate in front of the new girls. And if my older girls can't see the point I'm trying to make, then the older girls what really have trying to make, dullness except... going on in their brains. What are you wearing underneath that thing? Okay, take it off. That is the tackiest bathing suit I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> but she makes it look good. I mean, she's just raring to go. Dude, get in front of her. Pretend you're shooting her. Kate, give us a minute of your of your best poses. All right, pretend you're shooting with him. It kind of felt like she was making us feel like the new models were better than us and we yes. need to work harder. And That's exactly what like she was doing, even hard. though you've we're booked jobs. And they all can walk, and we all still have so much work to do. At some point, it did kind of feel like she was cutting us down and making them out to be a lot better than us. Just Absolutely, us that's exactly what she was doing. You're on the wall. A degree. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, yeah. She's just moving naturally, not thinking about it, Stina. Just rocking it. Da, 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 da. Did you see the clamshell photo there? How weird is it that she's not actually having photos taken? She's just using stills from what we're recording now. So from this camera, they were like, oh, it's almost like a real photo. Click. Next frame. Click. Next frame. These paparazzi are everywhere, girls. The drama of television. Isn't it dramatic? Oh. Mention um, that the right, back to your family hole and think about what you've done. It's not a competition, but in the back of all of our minds, we all want to be number one. You know, we so all want to so be the best. It's not a competition, I be but it's girls. competition. I want to be the star of JDMA. That's okay. what I wanted you to see. JDMA? Nobody better in the world than, than this girl at the moment in the post department. She's like, oh my gosh, she's the next Kate Moss, blah, 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 blah. She's like really thin, but I think her face looks really hard. I don't really know what's going on with her. Like she's sort of really like bouncy and annoying. I, she really annoys me, really irks me. We gotta go, let's go get the massage in the spring. I think that's kind of what Janice wanted. Janice wanted to create drama with this. She wanted them to be like, ugh, look at that. Because when she introduced the new model, she was like, if you don't look at them and see what I'm seeing, then blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, what do you want them to look at? You want the old models to pick apart the way they look and then judge them against themselves. So the fact that that model just there said, I don't like her face, it doesn't surprise me because this situation is designed for her to have that reaction. Spray tans. Let's go. Enjoy. Get spray Thanks, tans. Girls. Oh, good to see you again. Uh, Janice called me last week because she said that some of her models needed serious help. They needed Jimmy, Jimmy, Coco. They needed some body Coco pops, go! So I came in today and took a look at the models and worked appropriately. Sir, right. how do I stand in that? Arms out. Good. Well, I got a little bit self-conscious at being topless in front of the new girls just because the old girls and my friends, they know exactly what I look like in a bathing suit, but the new girls don't. And I feel like as one of the older models that I have to like be perfect and I'm definitely not right now. So it made me kind of nervous to have them see. All right, yeah, suddenly just around. like, get naked, get naked. Yeah, we're all skinny pretty much and it's just, oh, you know, tiny. It's, it's, it's a body. We've all seen like boobs or naked bodies before. Oh, they're all so tiny. <sighs> They're also all really, really, really young. They're really young and tiny. Goodness me. That takes time though, you know what I mean? The other girls are where they are in their careers and I am where I am. I'm not gonna get an eating disorder. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna eat healthy and you know, I'll get to where my goal is, myself. Make your career choice that you're gonna become a model and that part of that career choice is being skinny. The new girls are really, really tiny, super thin, and my body's just not capable of getting that thin. Leisha's body is phenomenal. What do you think you could do for it? I don't want to do much. <laughs> then you don't have to. There's so much speculation in the agency about these are the girls that's going to replace you, this is your replacement. The surprise for us with Janice, I guess, was meeting the new girls and seeing how skinny they are and seeing how much they don't eat. The most perfect body I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Rock dead. Not get killed! I 
I think you're flawless. Naturally, all Fully the other girls were looking and analyzing just in terms of what they have to compete with, and Jesus. that's fine. I have no problem being an Also getting tanned in a tiny, sensible kitten heel. Example for that. This is a pretty shocking so I, don't, so far. You know, I don't even want to talk. Like, I think it's great that all the girls um, that she found from the open call are put together and they have their bodies in shape and they look good, but didn't feel comfortable taking off my um, bathing suit. No, of course. But Why would you have to? What Jana says goes, so <laughs> you gotta get naked. You gotta get naked. Tracy, you need a lot of work on that booty. Janice gets um, on me more about my weight. Is this literally just a guise so that Janice can look at these bodies completely naked whilst getting spray tans? Is this all it is? So she can literally be like, look at you, you're terrible girls. Look at the new girls, they're brilliant. Look at you, you're awful. Is that all this is? This is like an exercise in shame, like body, literally body shaming towards an outcome. What even is the outcome that we expect here? What, that they're all gonna be like, no, I don't eat salads on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I only eat them Fridays and the rest of the week I, I have one potato in the morning and it's the rule. Is that, is that what we, is that what Janice wants us to hear and think? Disgusting. And what an excellent time to put in today's Twitch shout out, my lovelies, which goes to Praline Mocker. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my loves. Do you know what? I really fancy a Praline Mocker right now, but it's back to the video. And it's hard because everyone else is like 10 times skinnier than me. Also, I'm sorry. Face of makeup. Give her a rose, I feel terrible. She's not. Don't think that when I'm saying all these hard core things to you guys that I don't mean them. I do mean them when I'm saying it to you. I'm not saying it to hurt your feelings. I'm just saying it to you, you are, all sis. to be better. How you do you think are. I felt when this one announced to me she's pregnant? What am I supposed to do with her? Take that hat off. My hair looks really, really bad. Well, how could you show up even pregnant? Why weren't you doing your hair last night? I was, but it's bad hair, so. Well, you always have some kind of an excuse. Your tired excuses are not going to get you get you through the next level as a, as a mom. They're certainly not gonna get you to the next level as a, a model with a baby. Tamika was giving me lots of attitudes. So no, I she wasn't. She up. wasn't, Janice. She was defending herself. It's very, de giving attitude is being like, well, I think you're shit. Her responding by saying, unfortunately, my hair's not done because it's a bit bad and we are on TV, so you know. Instead of Janice being like, it's okay, that's absolutely fine, we'll see. She was like, no, well, what were you doing then instead? You are, what were you doing? Nothing. I'm not dead. Like, she's just rotten, isn't she, to the core. I'm being so harsh in today's video because it seems that as this series is developing, it's bringing out all these emotions. It's like they saw what they were doing in the first season and they were like, do you know what? This was great. We need more drama, more hate. Just let Janice go. Let her go. Fill her up with caffeine and let her go. And we're only four episodes in, my loves. So, so Tamika and I could have a little, little private one-on-one -on -one oh, talk. Oh, right, here we go. I don't even make excuses. Okay, sit okay. down. And yes, you do, and you're doing it right now. Made You've made excuses anything. for your braces. My braces. The hair thing. The, the hair, hair thing. No my mom does my hair. The you hair. need to learn how to do your hair in an acceptable way that if I tell you to take your hat off, you take your hat off and it looks good. Don't you think that is an agent for me that, that gets on my nerves? Well, maybe this isn't for me then. Maybe it isn't. You're not responding the way an eager model wants to be. If you're gonna argue and you, you don't think that I'm, I'm uh, that I've got your best interest at heart. You don't. Please go. 100% you don't. With you. But you are right now. What kind of agent are you to belittle the people who have been there for you, got you your new house, got you money, all of this stuff, you're going around getting all your nails, feet done, all this kind of stuff. We're the ones who put money in your pocket and you're gonna down us in front of new people. Let me ask you something else. Completely correct. Agree with every single thing she has said there. That is vile. I'm so glad someone is standing up for themselves though because Janice is just mean, so mean. Do you have any photographs that you've taken, that you've done on your own accord? No. Hello? I'm not having tried to do anything. If, if I went Why on, not? Because you're an agent. We're the issue. It's oh, okay. you know what? Here we go again. With you, I hear it's always another excuse. I think you're my excuse girl. And I can't have this talk anymore. I like you. You don't want to be here. Leave. I'm sorry. Will do. Wow. I had high hopes for Tamika, but she always has Poor problems Tamika. and she acts like she really doesn't want to be here. Plus, she's pregnant now, so that pretty much ends her modeling career with this agency. 
that's the real reason. That's the real reason that Janice was horrible to her because she wanted her to feel like she's quit of her own accord. All I know is I don't, I mean, I don't even respect Janice anymore. I have no respect for her anymore. She's lost my respect. I used to look up to her, don't look up to her anymore. To make a cut the agency at this point. Well, good, bye. The thing is, I bet back in the day, oh, the thing is, I bet back in the day when this was on air as well, people were like, yeah, Tamika's wrong. Janice is right. Janice, Janice, Janice. And that's because everyone that watching the show was literally like 16 back in the day. So now being like mid thirties, we're all like, oh my God, don't ever speak to anyone like that. You rotten, rotten, horrible little girl. Hey. Janice is this Cody? Cruz. You know that guy over there, don't you? Peter. They look for you. Can I? Is this is Cody from like episode Cody one, season was one. Cody the agency's first booker. Yeah. You learn how to become a booker where? Milan in New York. Right, why is he back? Thank you so much. The She's booker back. is the liaison between the agent and the client. A liaison. There's been a... I've worked as an artiste liaison before. <laughs> Sounds like I was an escort. That's not true. <laughs> Silly. No, David. No, no, stop it. Huge falling out between Peter and Cody, and Cody has been Did they missing have a in out? action ever since. Oh my goodness! What has the like, is is Gabe Janice's makeup artist? Because no. And now, out of nowhere, he asked me to have a meeting between he and Peter and I. My issue is this: I wasn't getting paid to be to be an employee of your agency. See. If I'm not being paid, how can I work? Did you? Did we receive See. any money? To pay him temporarily as a booker, you received oh, no he, money. He received all the money he was obligated to receive, and quite frankly, and then some. What money did you receive? That's not the case. And, and I, I mean, and, and by his numbers, I can, I can, I have the numbers here showing you. That's not the case. I really wasn't going to throw you under the bus. We'll go there. You Come basically the stopped blood. working. You stopped working. According to whom? That's your opinion. How do you? I, 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 as your I employer, have, it's I my have, opinion. I'm entitled. Have, you stopped I working. Coming up. Oh my goodness, what was that about? But honestly, I completely believe Cody here. I do not think this agency has any money to pay anyone for anything ever. I don't think the models are getting paid. I don't think the bookers, the makeup artists are getting paid. Maybe Janice is because this is her reality TV show, but wow. The Janice Dickinson modeling. You basically stopped working. You stopped working. Oh, According the audio to dead. Cody, who used to be the agency's booker, and Peter were arguing back and forth. I just kept my mouth shut. I don't so think argue. I don't think saying I need to be paid is arguing. Work it out between themselves. And She's to like, try to get a sense of what the real story was. It's I, I, probably I, I, that you aren't paying. Lawyer, it's I my have, opinion. I'm entitled. I have, you stopped I have working. The email records and the phone records of my contact with clients and other individuals. I've worked with thousands of employees over I don't know how many years. I've never had anybody that wanted to get paid for work they didn't do. Cody, you I never the documentation substantiate okay. any of your arguments. Okay. In, Peter? in three months, in the two months that you were here, did you bring any new models to the agency? I knew Peter was going to try to undermine my work integrity, neglecting the fact that at the time that that uh, we opened our doors, the models had no portfolios, the phone number wasn't working. And on top of that, the models weren't very strong. Stop. Don't I mean, that's T, isn't it, really? Complete wig T. Junior, you better stop right now. I'm just not Junior. No, just be, be stop. I've with seen that. you. Just, you know what? Did she just call him Junior? Janice. That the models weren't very strong. Stop, Don't Junior. Me. You better stop right now. I'm just, not Junior. No, just be, be stop. I've that. seen you. You know what? In I'm my sorry. Mother? You know. Uh oh. You calling me Junior now? My mother? Cody. Oh my God, for someone to just go a little insane on me, that's not happening. You deserve it. I didn't like it. him to begin with, and I certainly don't like him now. You know what, I see that you're explosive. Yeah, I mean, I'm I see that you're combative. Because I, I feel like I'm not being treated in a very ethical manner. Yes. Do we owe him money? No, we don't. Talk Cody, about it. in my opinion, as his employer, stopped working. The minute I stopped getting Did you getting stop working? Paid, there's a difference. At this stage of the game, Peter and I are not getting along strictly for business reasons. He has money that's been owed to me uh, as an employee. Oh, we need to see him and judge Judy girls. This is an opportunity to address it face to face. My question to you, Peter, is what have you done? How much money did you come up with, Peter? It's nothing. You're asking me, played for you July when you were in Puerto Rico the whole month and paid in August. Come up, come up, come up with, with, with the- Cody, where were you the whole month of July? For a week in July, actually it was six days, I was handling a business uh, agreement down in Dominican Republic. You were in New York and the Dominican Republic. You weren't even around here. Time out! Yeah, because you weren't Time out! Time out! Because you weren't out. paying me. What jobs can you- Realize that. You weren't paying me, I left. Period, end of discussion. I can't hit you, I can't call you names. Can I say time out? I'm the coach. You can't prove that you paid me after July 7th. Time! Cody never really booked any jobs for our models, so I was always waiting for something to happen with Cody. 
Doesn't matter. He's, if he's contracted to the company, he still needs to be paid, sis. Unless he's freelancing, which it doesn't sound like he is if he's an employee. God, I like that top. Stressful. All right, you know what, boys? We're going to take this to... Oh, this I'm going like to take Final this Fantasy paperwork to my attorney. Music. My attorney, separate from Peter Hom, separate from you. I'm going to see what he advises me to do. You let me know. I hear, Well, thank you. Uh, I respect you and thank you for coming in. That's all I have to say. I'm going to have to give Cody his walking papers in, in writing. Thank you very much. What a horrible scene that was. What a, a horrible, horrible scene. It sounds to me like no one in this agency is getting paid. But do you remember in the first season we saw after that like live shoe modeling competition part, we saw a segment of like, and now we pay you. And that's the only time we've ever seen or even heard of payment being discussed in this show. Oh, it's odd, isn't it, girlies? Odd, oh, very odd. Oh. You're having a fever dream. Let's oh, go get Enigma. It. Crystal and I did a photo shoot a couple of weeks ago, and we are going to be so, in a bridal magazine. Don't Where are your bridal magazine? Right down here. At the bridal end. magazine. It's official. It's absolutely official. I am a model. I'm in a magazine, and I need to go get it immediately. Oh, Thank you. oh my God! She's a model in a magazine. Me too, sis. Page thirty of Diva Magazine. Uh. <laughs> in which I share my facial feminization story. If you want to grab a copy of this edition of Diva Magazine, my loves, the link is in the description box below. They're right in front of right. us. Right. Bridal girls. Bride and bloom. Bride, bride, and, bride and bloom. Ooh. I haven't seen anything from it yet and I am very, very anxious. Where is it though? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 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 Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look how pretty you are. Let me see. Seeing myself in a magazine is wow. unlike any other Look at that bouquet. I've had up to this like point. It says Mama. Mesa. And then it says Steve. It's like all of my work and all of my pushing myself is coming together. True. Like, that's oh, very true. Hair. And look, none of the I'm newbies actually, have this. You know, I'm excited. I'm in a magazine, but then I start looking at it and really picking it apart. And I'm not thrilled. I want to be freaking out over the top excited, but I don't like my look. I just, I can't help but be critical. Like, I want to be excited and... It's the thing about this is it's not about how you look. It's about how the photographer and the stylist and the art director and the magazine want you to look. So if you think, oh, I really don't like that photo, but they're all like, yes, queen money, ching, 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 we're making dollars, then it's not really up to you. I'm sorry. A harsh pill to swallow, but a pill nevertheless. Bottoms up. Yeah. No, thrilled that I'm in a magazine, but it's like, I just don't think I look good. I like the bouquet. Like, like, shake it like and do it. Just be like, love your picture. Like, just love it. I just want to. Love it for just a moment, you know? Take like, them on the Richard Gere's about it. I don't want to. Oh. It's beautiful. It's because Janice is in your oh, ear going, Crystal. disgusting, pervert. Like, like, you know. <sighs> it's beautiful. Oh. It's such a baby. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're not at all. It's beautiful, and just know that you did a good job. They you wouldn't did. have put you in the magazine if they didn't love exactly. it. Exactly. If the, you didn't do a great job, and if you didn't, you know, oh, perform how you should, if you didn't, if you weren't a model, if you didn't do the job of a model, they wouldn't have put you in there. You know? That's so sad. If they didn't like it, they wouldn't have put it in there. I guess, you know, it makes me work harder. I'll make sure that I pay closer attention to every little detail. So next time, I'll be excited, a big old smile on my face. I don't know. I'll be like, oh, I love it, yeah. yeah. You know, we'll look forward to that. Yeah. Just keep on going, look forward to that. You Lots know? of copies of Bride and Bloom. Let's go. When was Let's that? Go. Bride and Bloom 2005. Right, here we go. Hi, Crystal. Hello. Oh, How are you, sweetie? Come sit, talk to me. Tell me everything. Crystal called me and asked if she could come into the agency to get my opinion on a particular matter. Did she? Or did production so say, you should do this? Christine and I did for Bride and Bloom. Oh, and when I saw the it. pictures, I was devastated. I couldn't stand looking at myself. I thought it was horrible. So I decided to bring in the magazine and show Janice to get her advice so I never feel this way about a photograph again. Right. What's going on with you? I'm a little right. show you this. But what's it going to be, girl? Like, not so happy with it. Rise and bloom. This is genius. Right. Ah, the cascade of the wedding dress. And then we get to Crystal. Well, Crystal, what don't you like about it? I expected a lot, you know? I wanted to, like, open it up and just be, like, overwhelmed. Like, I love it. First of all, my initial response is pride. 
I'm so proud of you in this photograph. You look amazing. And the lighting is beautiful, the dress is beautiful. This is a nice picture, Crystal. Really? I think that you're being too analytical about yourself because of the recent weight loss. But these pictures are beautiful. They really are, and I'm really happy with them. I mean that. I was nervous to show you, because I'm like, oh, God. I think it's because you have a really low self-esteem. Why do we think that might be, Janet? I think we need to work on that. Oh, Damon. You're doing really good. I love everything about you. Come and give me a hug. Okay. Can't you look like that down the runway with this look on your face? Look. Can't you look like that down the runway? No. Smile. That's what I want to see down the runway. After showing Janice the pictures from Bride and Bloom, um, I feel a lot better about them. I mean, I wonder if this was maybe a bit of a production moment where it's like, oh, production have called Janice and been like, we have to organize this thing because we have a model that's literally in tears and you have to be like, goodness, we have to, we need her for the rest of the season for like story arcs, please just build her confidence up. Even if you hate the photos, just be like, ah, oh, lovely. I wonder if that's the case. Do you get that vibe? Judging from every single piece of reality TV that we've seen so far on this Chanel, my lovelies, I feel like I'm collating like data on how to see through the veil of television because I feel like like that I'm not too far off the mark with that observation. I might be, I might be completely wrong, but let me know what you guys think. I'm still obviously not thrilled with them because that's the way I am, but I'm trying. Donut, why don't you smile more? Because. Yeah. Stand up straight and tickled. And <laughs> laugh and have fun. Let's go eat chocolate or something. You just did a great job. Let's go have some chocolate. Let's hit it. Chocolate solves all problems. <laughs> that is not a good attitude to have. Trains! Uh, guys, come over here and line up, please. Trains pride. New guys line up on one side, old guys line up on the other side. I brought my existing models and my new models to the train gym in West Hollywood. Right. This is Andre, my trainer. He's extraordinary. And I'm going to let you take over, Andre. Go. OK, I think you look OK, but I don't think all of you guys look that great. So we're going to find out just really what's going on in terms of your strength. I'm going to put you against these guys over here, and we're going to see how well you do. Janice brought in all the older guys and the newer ones and uh, basically just see how we perform, not just physically. Existing model. Pre-existing, existential crisis model. Waiting the flesh. Some of us have been with the agency for a while and these guys are brand new. Uh, they kind of came with that little attitude like they're about to take over. I'm not nervous at all, you know, it's all good. I ain't tripping. Do we know who this man is? Who are you? I'm not nervous at all, you know, it's all good. Have we seen this man in the agency before? Did he get picked in the last episode? Is it because he has a headband on that I'm like, I don't know who you are. I ain't tripping. I'm not really that. Out any of the, uh, the old models at all. I mean, I like, I like this group just fine. I don't uh, have any interest in getting to know any of them whatsoever. Last time I saw you guys, you were sunken in in the chest. I don't think you guys look all that great. Oh yes, he was the guy who was like, as as time to doodle. Goes, uh, the new models, we definitely put the old models to shame. Same old, same old. When I first seen the new um, male models, I thought, bitches, they ain't nothing but bitches. And they ain't got nothing on us. You know, the old school models. You know, we classical. You're still missing. I mean, you'll say you're classical, but you've been with the agency for like three months and most of it has been closed because it's not been filming. So this odd concept of like the old versus the new this production storyline is trying to go with is so odd because it's like every episode we've seen so far Janice has basically been like get rid of everyone start fresh get rid of everyone start fresh get rid of everyone start fresh like she's had nine like open calls at this point so it's very confusing as to why they've gone with the old versus the new because we haven't gotten really to know any of the older models except a couple of their footwear campaigns and what was that like live modeling at a f get a free time for print free t-shirt model and also then like a free rock show modeling thing and like what? Deranged. Again, I'm not gonna deal with him right now. I'm not gonna deal with him right now. I'm not the one that's trying to be a supermodel, okay? So you need to get out of my face right now, okay? Be quiet, just settle down and relax, okay? Just relax. Here we go, okay? I want you to step forward. What's your name? JP. JP. All right, step forward. Big mouth, step forward. What I want you to do is push-ups, head-to-head push-ups, all right? What? JP is gonna kick your ass. JP, if you don't kick his ass, I'm gonna kick your ass, believe it or not, okay? All right. I swear, I'll push you off the balcony. Coming up. This seems a bit insulty, doesn't it? Would you want a personal trainer to be like, if you don't kick his ass, I'll throw you off the balcony, girl. Oh, right, okay. The, the Janice digging this modeling pad. What you do is push ups, head to head push ups, all right? Oh, Take silence. it down to the floor, head to head. Why is I it so brought quiet my old again? and new models together for the first time at the gym. It's like every time we have a break, the episode gets quieter and quieter and quieter until mummy's mm. like, what's happening? What? 
so I can see who stacks up against one another, who's going to make it, who's who's not going to make it, who's hot and who's not. How many push-ups do you have in here? I don't know. How many do you have in here? I don't know. I'm a dual. How many do you have in here? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. How many do you have in here? I don't know. How many do you have in you? At least 100. At least 100. And that's what I'm talking about. I wasn't worried about doing push-ups against Marcus because by the looks of him, I just knew I was going to win. Bring him down. Right, go. Okay. Well, I Same guess we'll time. have it's to see, hard, won't we? Right because this makes no sense at all. A wider, Come on. I'm counting on you, all right? Fight club. Get up. They should kick. Oh, good. No, you're not good. Come back down. What is this? You can keep going. You can keep going, but I'm going to stop. Marcus, you stop. I'm at the end of my rope with Marcus. It's a pity because he has such great talent, but he really pissed me off today. Who's next? Keep pushing. I want you to keep pushing. Don't you stop. Come on, old school. Come on. God, you're out. So far, Why is she the like? older <laughs> models can't even keep up with the new models, so it's going to be a real interesting agency. I've got my hands full. Word. On, Are you giving up? Yeah. All right. What do you mean you've got your hands full? Hands full of what? What have you got your hands full of? You're not doing anything, Janice. There's not been... We are 25 minutes into this episode and not a single piece of modelling has been completed to make the agency any money whatsoever. Budget cuts. In fact, technically you've lost money because Cody's taking you to court. <laughs> We're halfway through the workout. The guys are not doing so well as far as I'm concerned. I think there's a lot of talking, a lot of mouth, a lot of bull And it's not, they're not showing out. They're not really producing what they say they can produce. You know, it's pretty sad what? on their part. And no one said they can produce anything. This isn't, this isn't, like, how is this Vogue? Yeah, Marcus, you know, he gets annoying. Uh, he just keeps yapping his mouth. He never shuts up. Janice's models obviously coming into today, meeting everybody for the first time, uh, came in pretty out of shape. And I think when they saw the side of us, out they were a little shape. bit intimidated. And you can tell when people are intimidated because their mouths start to go a lot faster than their actions. Oh, there ain't no competition whatsoever. I don't even know why Jay gonna bring these old rookie ass mother over here because you know what, we got this on lock. I hate Marcus. <laughs> Very Don't start fighting, my guys. Just really not happy with behavior of some of the guys. This is exactly what you wanted. They may be asked to leave and they know who they are. Oh, interesting. Is this basically another like undercover casting model of like, let's push these people to their limits and then get rid of them. Replaced. Make them quit. Comparing the older models to us new guys, I would say that you know, physiques, looks, that's in the eye of the beholder. But what's really clear is that we have better attitudes. Bye-bye, Marcus. Bye, Marcus. Bye-bye, Pickle. Marcus, he has the worst attitude. Sometimes he's a little funny, but he thinks that's going to get him to where he needs to be. He, his talk is far better than his game. Let's get some more water. Mm -hmm. More water. Today was crazy. I, I hadn't worked out that much in my entire life, seriously. Well, no, you, you, like, clearly, with the body type that you currently have, this is not, like, GQ men's fitness model. You are much more aimed towards, like, Vogue menswear. It's so weird that she's like, everybody do press-ups, because we all know in high fashion, like, highest of high haute couture, we don't often see men looking like this, unless maybe it's for, like, Thierry Mugler. Oh, bye-bye, sweet pea. Bye-bye. At some points, I thought I was going to pass out. Genesis trainer was working us like cattle. I mean, there is he should a have known not to push you that far. Between training and craziness, and she was a good trainer knows when to stop instead of being like push through the pain until you die. Like no, no. Definitely riding the fence. Let okay. go! You're holding on. You're holding on. You're not gonna make it. Just stop the treadmill and get off. You're going really Sorry. Chris, that was good. Here's the restroom, please. Uh, Janice Taylor Andre so was working so hard that Chris actually puked. Well, I'm and not I surprised. That I just said that. That's me. After every time that I do vigorous, intense exercise, that's me. I'm so competitive. When I used to compete in swimming, I used to make myself so unwell. By pushing myself so far, I'd get out of the pool and immediately be unwell because I'd be like, I need to win! So I understand the vibes, but also a personal trainer should never push you that far that you're like, I'm gonna pass away now. Goodbye. She's dead. <laughs> 
just breathe. I think Andre was working us really hard because he wants us to develop character because there are a lot of setbacks in this business. There's a lot of challenges and disappointments. And you really need to toughen yourself up, I guess. The old guys well, need an attitude check. Oh, this isn't anything yeah, to do with the guys do need an attitude check. Attitude check. And what I've been seeing today is a lot of, again, a lot of mouth. You're not producing a lot of mouth and none on me go to your absolute limit and you guys are giving up with exception of a couple of you the attitude on the new guys is phenomenal the new guys really want to be here they look like they're camera ready there's more to modeling that meets the eye it's about not attitude really. well yes but also some of the worst people in the world take great photos ever since evaluating the old and DVD. models bodies at the tanning sessions as compared to our new models I have been really writing them hard on the importance of exercise to right. keep their bodies in tip-top shape. Right. I like to do Taibo because you learn how to throw a punch. Being a model, every little part of your body has to be like in perfect shape because everything is looked at. The music they are playing is so intense, it's literally like we're watching Tekken 3's Last Battle Girls. What she's actually doing in her living room is going, which is fine if that's what you want to do, but let's not paint it as like this grueling exercise that every model goes through, which Janice is just about to say, because that's not true. Like, in perfect shape because everything is looked at. Crystal Trueheart has worked harder than any other model in this entire agency. When I first met right, okay, Crystal, so she's getting she was a praise. little plump to be a model, but there was something that made me come back and take a second look. Crystal has worked Plum. to make progress, Plum. and so far it's paying off. Plum. She's booked every single job she's been up for, and the rest of the models have to just try to find a this way to emulate very gentle all the hard work that Crystal has done. Janice really loves my body. She thinks that I have like the best body in the agency, so I gotta keep it maintained. I gotta keep working out. I usually try to run three miles every morning. That's good enough to stay in shape. Three miles, okay. Janice yes. told me that I should lose a few pounds, so I did. Started working out more, I started eating right. And it's just a long process. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight 100%. if I want to do it in a healthy way. It's a health issue. It definitely is. Models have been dying on runways in overseas and I don't think that's okay it's not okay to jeopardize our health for has a model died on the runway I'm sorry I have to google that oh my god there's so many stories wow and these are all recent as well I can't imagine back in the day how hateful that was wow <laughs> I know a lot of models go to the gym to get their exercise in. Oh my God, whatever happened to the dogs that Janice got her family for the Christmas episode? Do you remember that? Whatever happened to them? Never seen them again, have we? It was it must have been artificial and I hope it was because she clearly wasn't ready for them. But I am just gonna walk my dog because that's what I do for daily exercise. Your dog like is very reactive. Heels. Biscuit. Oh. Oh, you're there, are you, little biscuit? You're also very reactive. You like to pull and bark, and we have to stop walking every four seconds because you get so excited. <laughs> I think it's funny. Some people stop and stare, but I think it's good for your legs. I'm not going to become a gym junkie. I like taking my dog for a walk, and that's just what I'm going to stick to no matter what Janice Dickinson says. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, sure. Do you know what? Okay. What's this? Another charity event. I'll call you up and just say I need six of your best models to be here at a specific time. No casting, no other types of meeting, just... Another charity event. We've done so... We've, what is this? The fifth charity event across all seasons? Send us your best. And that's exactly what happened with Ryan Seacrest at KISS FM. We're here right. at the Beverly Wilshire. We have a little purse party we're putting on with KISS FM. Right this way. Party. Today's that? the first time the veteran models and the rookie models work together. I think there's a little tension between us all, but you gotta get the job done regardless of who you're working with. So when we I don't understand. Are they belonging to different agencies or something? The way they're saying this is like they're on different teams and it's not. It should be like individual. That's so strange. Stairs. Everybody's gonna get two sets of bags. So what we're doing today is we hired 10 of Janice's models to model purses for a group of about 50 ladies that have one designer handbag. Is there a guy missing? What? We've hired 10 models to walk around with handbags to sell to d ladies with one designer handbag. What? A this is a charity auction, isn't it? Right? 
Okay. I don't understand. I'm a, I'm a simple woman. Okay. 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 For work. Does anybody, does anybody know where John is? John is digging the modeling. Is there a guy missing? John, he's on his way, I think. He wants to be fashionably late. For work? It's not Where's here. John at? We were all no. about to work the Kiss not FM allowed. first party, and John Stallings wasn't there yet. If John does something wrong, that makes all us older models look bad. Oh, different job. Yeah, Why? Over here as fast as I could. I guess I was an hour late for my call time. Your bus running late? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you had your mom call you every morning to wake you up, you'd be on time. Yeah, when I walked in, Brian Kehoe was like, oh, nice to see that you showed up on time, kind of thing. I'm like, whatever, dude. Things happen. Alarms don't go off, you know? Keep your mouth shut. Let's see this job. Is this a job? Is this what people do when they go modeling? Hi, guys. Hi, boys. Yeah. Hi, guys. So we were standing, waiting to go in on uh, the Ryan Seacrest show, and then Larry King walks by. You're so hip. Oh, my God, it's All Lisa Rinna. He knew right away who he was and shook his hand. He's a pretty cool dude, too. Thanks, guys. Larry. Lisa Rinna, Eminem. Love you, Larry. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to <laughs> pick your purse. We are going to go live to the I don't pool understand. The Wilshire Hotel. I don't understand. I don't, is this the modeling portion of the show, of this episode? I don't understand. An annual pick your purse party. There are male An models annual pick your purse. hot baby oil <laughs> standing by the pool. Well, right now I'm displaying the bags for all these lovely ladies out here. And I feel... This is Janice Dickinson's escorting agency, isn't it? A little self-conscious, but maybe that's a little conceited of me because I know they're actually looking at the bags. Good morning, Lisa. How are you this morning? Hi, I'm Lisa Renna. I was dead. in the Kiss FM purse party today, and Janice sent all these male models. They were like cute, personable, great bodies, all good. Hey, what do the guys look like holding these purses, Lisa? These guys are hot. He's got tattoos on his shoulder. It looks like, what are those? Oh, he had to mix it up. The models do not talk. Tell them to shut no. up. Just stay <laughs> Ryan's already <laughs> jealous, Ryan. Okay, ladies, you ready? Not a serious gig. Not a serious gig. As a case with any, um, you know, modeling agency, new models come in, there's there's already going to be some competition that's brewing. You know, it's either going to get worse or, you know, we're going to get along personally. It's going to get worse or it's going to get better, just like life. I got a call from Donna, who was in charge of the KISS FM purse party. She was thrilled with the models we sent. They did great. I'm just happy the old models and the new models didn't kill each other. What is this old versus new storyline? That was, was that, was, did we see any modeling in this? Was there any modeling in that this, uh, segment at all? Was there? Now. Right, oh, massage the lady. Help, help me get JP, dude. If you give him room to struggle, you're done. Yeah, I know, that's why we need him all be at like different angles. And as soon as he walked by, get it. The job was done, you know, we were just all standing around and, uh, you know, JP walked by with perfect timing. Just came out of the bathroom. Oh, dead. Yeah, Brian Kehoe, he's, uh, he's a character, all right. <laughs> we started actually started a pretty good friendship, and it all started when he pushed me in the pool at the purse party, and um, ever since then, he's been, a, he's been a good buddy. I like the guy. I'd be irate. Can I get a bathroom? I'd be like, how dare you even look at me? <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Moving out to LA to be part of the agency has been a sacrifice. So until who my model starts to pick up and jobs start coming in, I'm broke. Who, who are you? I am staying in the worst possible motel on Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood, really girls. City, and I had to choose this motel. It's, it's close to the agency and it's really all I could afford. Oh, you're gonna be wasting money, girls. Wasting money. Uh, this is where he's staying. Who is it? It's JP. It's Japan. <laughs> it's your escort this evening. It was okay, a real it. good pick me up to see JP. And out of all the models in the agency, him and I have really created a special bond, kind of oh. like a big brother, little brother thing. Oh. oh. Don't I tell X videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, take. I mean, I would have let you stay in Long Beach with me. I swear to God, I just saw a hooker coming out. Look at that right down there. Only I'm allowed to make escorting jokes, no. sir. Condom robbery. It's not mine. I, I was too scared to pick it up. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't touch it. I barely want to get in the shower. I mean, look at your bathroom. 
Stucco was falling off the walls. I mean, I, I wouldn't even gotten into the shower without sandals. And this is an absolute dump. <laughs> oh, barbed wire outside the window. It took JP no longer than five seconds to start, you know, ripping on me and giving me a hard time like he always does. This is funny. You have to admit, this is funny. Not when you have to stay here every night. No, yeah, this this that's not like no. banter. That's like ha ha. <laughs> Poverty. Kiho is a he's a funny guy. He's a, a guy who comes from Reno, he's Nevada. A small town over there. Is he? he Are we sure? That small town attitude. I don't believe he doesn't know LA. It's obvious. Get to know your favorite models more intimately, ah. We that's what it is. This is like Janice Dickinson has sexy men around her agency. The place that he's staying, and I feel like I just got to for the guy. I don't know why. He's, he's a good guy. Let's get out of here. All right. Come on. So are, we, are you, I might, I might even are you offering him to move in with you? Oh, You're touching the door. Are you that? So once I saw what this place looked like, I I had to get him out of there. Got to take him to lunch, try to cheer him up. And right. honestly, I just want to get the hell out of there. <laughs> okay. What a weird segment that was. Why did we, why was that in there? Why have we just seen like, ha ha, new model in a motel. Let's go and banter at them. The Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency Girls! Meeting with Hi, Mike Dick Wood. Yes. Hi, James. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'm meeting with Mike Wood, the editor in chief of Mike Instinct Wood. Magazine, a gay national magazine. So I'm so excited to take the meeting. Thank Please. You. Biscuit is having a dream. He's doing little soft barks. Oh, visited by Heavenly Light. Let's have a seat. I'm uh, Mike Wood. I'm the editor in chief of Instinct Magazine, which is the number one gay men's national magazine. Oh, I, want to talk to you today about, um, I see. Putting one of your models on our cover for our February swimsuit issue. Swimsuit, swimsuit issue. issue. Swimsuit issue. Yeah. We've got the guys for you. You've got the. Well, we actually, I, I have one guy in mind that um, we've kind of had an eye on since um, he's been on Survivor. JP. JP. Yes. So. Interesting. Good choice. <laughs> So we have 100,000 plus readers a month, and um, we think that he'd be a great candidate. There's just one, one sticking point. As a gay men's magazine, we only feature out gay men on our cover. But we really hope that JP would, would, would consider this as a possibility for something I don't know do. if he's gay. The client wanted to offer JP a cover, but there was one catch. In order to be on the cover of Instinct magazine, the model has to be gay. It's none of my business if he's gay or not. If you if you want to put him on the magazine cover, that's fine with me. People here are free to do and whatever be whoever they want to be. So if if you want to work that out with JP, I'm a very happy to. No, I want to. I want to if we can get his contact number and maybe have that conversation with him personally. I don't but... think that's a problem, Mike. Okay, great. That would be wonderful. Okay. Oh, I had kind of said I had kind of hoped she would have said I don't think that's appropriate. Oh, imagine, they're like, oh, we're gonna give you this opportunity. You're a model. Oh, are you a nice little model? Right, let's phone you up. Like, are you a homosexual? Well, I wonder, oh, oh, is this like a forced coming out storyline? Is this a homo, I joked about them being homosexual earlier, but there we go. It's a bit different, isn't it? When the call's coming from inside the house. Very interesting and interesting development. Interesting, 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 interesting. Excellent. Ethan, we have a question. Hey, Mike. Nice, nice to meet you. What, what Mike would like to know is he'd like to put JP on the cover of Instinct. Who's Ethan? But there's a stipulation that their cover who, who are, you? are gay men, and I don't know if JP's gay. It's the exposure for that magazine, it, it's huge. I mean, and he also would get a cover story. I mean, we do it obviously very tastefully and, you know, tell his whole story if, if it's something that he, he's game for. But if he's, he's gay. He's what if he's not? Are you basically going to be like, come out as gay, have a story? and I, and then go back in the closet, girls, because you're not gay. Like, what? This is, uh, also, who is this man? Well, I've never seen him before. And she's like, Ethan, come in and give me your advice. And he's like, he should do it, because gay. We have to get that with Unified first. Okay, yeah, bring gay. on JP. Once you get him into the agency today, and I'm going to present him the option of a yes or no, straight gay, Of an are you gay? Strictly none of my business, but in order to be on the cover of this magazine, he has to be gay. I don't know if JP's straight. I don't know if JP's gay. I have to find out today what the business is with JP. If he's interested in doing this job, it's up to him to decide. What horrible photo well, that there's was. there's anything else we can Crawl like a worm. Please leave your magazine. I think the meeting went really well. Um, oh, I think Janice just was enthusiastic JP. about it. I think it's all dependent upon Janice's conversation with JP. I'm right. excited. This could be like an exploitative storyline, though. 
Mike Wood, the like editor. back in this day and age when this was filmed, this was still this was 2005. It was still kind of taboo to see gay on television. Kind of taboo, maybe not 100 percent, but people had very different views than they do now. I mean, I know it's literally like nearly 20 years ago, but it was still considered a bit like odd and strange to see it on TV. And I can imagine on American TV that was the case even more than British. Oh, I don't know, you know, because I didn't watch this when it was like actually airing. I don't really know like who, how people had a reaction to it. Whereas on America's Next Top Model, I know that people had a quite a profound reaction to someone like Miss J being so flamboyant and open about who they are on a television show. I thrived and loved it, but I know that it was reviled in circles. So interesting. Chief of Instinct Magazine just pitched a cover of Instinct Magazine. I have no idea if JP's gay or not, it's really none of my business. Nevertheless, to accommodate the client, I'm going to have now to I'm, ask now JP I'm like, is he, is it he? So I have to be delicate on this. I even know how to do that. Delicate woman, of which you are not. Right, okay. Janice called me in today to do a possible magazine cover shoot. And I mean, I'm pretty well, forward because that's something about I this. never expected to happen so soon. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good, how are you? Not too bad, yeah. what's going on? What's going on? Let's sit down, have a talk with me. I'm gonna ask you something. I have um, a client that wants to book you for Instinct Magazine, for the cover of Instinct Magazine. And it's a gay magazine, and um, they wanna give you a cover and a, and a layout, and they wanna do a story on you being JP, the survivor guy, the reality star that you are, the, the model that you are, the model. Okay, so this technically has nothing to do with Janice Dickinson's modeling agency. Just Janice Dickinson basically wants the exclusive on his sexuality. Oh, look how uncomfortable he looks. I don't like this at all. Uh, the male supermodel that you're going to become, but there's, there's a catch. They, they have to use gay men on the cover. I, it's really none of my business. And you could just get, you say, I don't want to answer this if you don't feel like, but uh, how do I say this? Are, would you be interested in doing this if you were a gay man? Or, and if you're not a gay man, it's really none of my business and I feel really awkward asking. But you're still waiting for an answer. Oh. Um. I feel really awkward asking you this. I just want you to know that because I really respect you. You have to be gay to be on that or? You do. Do you want to look at it? <laughs> First, JP was stuttering. His eyes were watering, and his demeanor was telling me something that his words weren't. Most most modeling jobs do not involve personal stories, but this particular one does. It would be a personal but this story could change about you, the where you came from, your career. what you're all about, and where you're going. And the other you models might be, be like, <laughs> on this, huh? "You do." Yeah. Oh, the editing sis. What? 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 Oh, what? What? <sighs> Gagged at the pageant, sis. I've got some thoughts. You don't have to come out to me to be on the cover of a magazine, little biscuit. No. So, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about what we've seen in today's episode. Uh, first of all, the only modeling that we saw in this episode was a couple of half-naked men around a pool holding handbags for an auction for charity. Don't have a problem with it being an auction for charity. I think, to be honest, that's a great option. It is just strange how Janice's modeling, like, events this season that we've watched have all been charity, like, charity cases. Oh, charity case. Have all been like charitable events, like charity events. There's been no like real modeling storylines. And then right at the very end, we saw this modeling storyline come to fruition, but it's not actually about the modeling agency or Janice. It's about JP Cauldron and being on a magazine in which he has to say that he, well, basically he has to come out if he wants to be on this magazine. And judging from the editing of this show, it seems like he maybe has struggled with his identity and his sexuality perhaps, and they've just gone, so how are we gonna find out? Should we dangle this opportunity in front of you? 
And I can imagine back in 2004, 2005, having someone on reality TV that was speculated about their sexuality, especially on a massive American show like Survivor, would have been shocking. It would have been like, oh, is he really? Like the newspapers after this would have just eaten him alive, I bet. The media would have eaten him alive. And at the very end of the day, it is not any of our business, is it? No. If this magazine really wants to put a gay person on the front of their magazine, why does it have to be from Janice Dickinson's modeling agency? It doesn't. It shouldn't have to be, should it, Biscuit? No. You're very sleepy, aren't you? Tired little Biscuit boy. Oh, little Biscuit. In the very beginning of this video, I read a top comment that said, how is Janice so misogynistic and misandric at the same time? This episode didn't disappoint on that front, did it? She is so spiteful towards young, talented, like, super skinny people. The fact that this whole episode has been like old versus new, but it doesn't make any sense because we haven't really got to know the old models. It's not like we've watched them for three seasons and like, oh, they're household names and we're really happy when one of them's here and they get an opportunity and we're really rooting for them. We haven't had that opportunity. So it's very strange that productions decided to go with, oh, but the newbies are gonna erase the oldies, aren't they, Mr. Biscuits? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below. Cause I've got a lot of opinions and there's probably a lot of things that I've missed. One, like the body shaming in this episode has been astronomical. I think I'm gonna have to put that in the title of this video because this whole episode was just shame, shame, shame. And you know what my loves, with that, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here my loves, yes you can. Thank you guys for joining the Patreon and thank you guys for your continued support here on the Chanel. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Fable and Flourish, Jamie Clark, Jen Martin, Jennabeth Herman, Jinwoo Choi, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Millie Hammond, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, November. Paolo Rivera, Rubix.co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my lovelies? I'm gonna leave it on the note of a very similar note to the one that I said in one of my last videos, which is, if you come across a casting or a job interview and someone asks you to stand up, take off all your clothes and say, oh, you're actually a bit chubby, a bit plump, don't really like that, you can just walk straight out. Walk straight out with your head held high and say, what a disgusting person that was. No interest at all. And with that, my loves, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yes, I should go run down a beach with my tits out. <laughs> Sorry, this.